Hello. Uh, we are we are against some fellow undead here. Uh, I was just chatting with uh, Rick. So about his uh, game in new rules, it's not sudden death overtime. Oh, so you can so both teams can theoretically score. Uh, let's have a quick look at our opponents while uh, while I'm chatting about that. So they've got a strength. They've got a strength six mummy. Wow. <clears throat> I don't know what to make of that. Uh, guard on the whites. They're down there. Tackle Ghoul, which is a real bonus for us. Uh, it's, I guess, what's kind of given them the extra team value difference. So they do have a Bloodshed at one, which would be their ball carrier. We don't have any tackle yet, I don't believe. How are they doing? Have they had a better run than us? Oh, pretty similar, to be honest. Uh, okay, that's interesting. That's kind of cool, actually, in a way. So you can at least try and uh, force them to force your opponent's score fast where, where normally in overtime now of course it was it's like golden goal so if you've got like a <clears throat> a fast team especially you just try and two turn it or whether um yeah that's kind of interesting to hear I think that's probably an improvement a kick off a, a kicks at the end still the same Of course, it seems like a bit of a sad system to, to end a game such as this, but, I mean, let's face it, penalty kicks in football are a sad system as well. There's there's not really a good way to to decide such things, is there? At some point, I guess you've just got to have a horrible toy cost like event. Alright, so we're on defense. Uh, let's pull you off the line if we can. What have we got on the bench? I guess we'll get our guard on the field. We'll pull our mummies back, because he's got strength 6 anyway. And he's got guard on the white, so it's not like we're winning the front line. We'll split our guys apart to try and pull his mummies apart. Uh, let's see... He's got one sub, we've got two, that's quite nice. We've only got one white for this game, so... That's a bit disappointing. Do I want this school on? I might take this school off. This is a weird setup, but we're going with it, I think. Uh, yeah. I suppose we should switch these guys around if we're being sensible. Okay. Yeah, save one goal at least. Uh, kicks are the highest roll now, I think. Don't think rerolls count towards the final total. Okay, I <clears throat> here's here's what I thought they've been saying, and and this could be wrong, but from watching the like the chalice games, they're saying you take it in turns to to roll. So on the first kick, you just have to roll a two plus, I guess. And on the second kick, you have to roll a three plus, and on the third kick, you have to roll a four plus, and you go back and forth between them, and then you can use a re-roll to try and. Um, if you fail one to get a second chance at it but i don't i don't know if that's actually true or maybe that's just true on blood bowl 2 but not in the actual tabletop game i honestly don't know okay right it's interesting it does give us the chance to kind of uh, i suppose try and grind this out a little bit very aggressive setup here Probably more aggressive than I would normally be, just just because of blitzes and stuff. Yeah, for instance, we could have got a could have got our guy up there had had this have been a blitz, which is not really what you want. I'd have been tempted to put a couple of these zombies over on the sides. Okay, okay, yeah, I, I honestly, I'm not sure how it works. 
It's not something I've really had to worry about in fairness. Alright, so he does have a good... Well, I say he's got a good mate. He's got two guard. We've got one, two, three. Four. We've actually got four guard, so that's kind of nice. This guy's obviously a bit of a menace, but will the strength six come into its own in this, or will it, you know... Kind of curious how much effect it will have. All pick up no problem. Don't recognize the opposite coach. I guess there's a degree to which maybe we try and get in there, you know, we with the guard advantage. Maybe just ignoring this guy as much as we can. Uh, so we could slot. Hmm, how are we going to do it though? Um, I guess we could slot this guy into here. Pop this guy. I think we're going to pop this guy in here. I'm trying to work out who I'm going to blitz. I guess we could blitz his white, right? Okay, we're gonna try this. A bit disappointing. I'm just pushing back. Uh, okay, here we go. Rule state. Picture rules highest dice score on each dice win. So one, three, two, three, two would lose to two, two, three, three, three. Oh, interesting. Five dice. Hmm. Oh, I thought he was going to agree that for a second there. He does have a wizard. We need to remember that. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> so here's where it gets a bit more tricky for him, unless he's willing. I guess he could one dice that. It's not too bad, is it? So that does still give us a two dice on this guy. I guess now he's gonna... one dice our uh, mummy, probably. We ended up getting break tackle. Rawr. I really sort of agonized over that. Sweet. Made him use a reroll. Oh, not even a successful one. Excellent. Ooh, that is a good start. Kind of makes up for our... Oh, and he failed the regen. That is bad. Don't you, don't you quit on me. Not yet, at least. Oh, he's got a good record. He's probably not going to just, just up and quit. Uh, let's see... So yeah, I have a two guy, a two dice on this guy. Not really what we were looking for. Um, I guess we keep hitting there. Uh, 
Uh, what else are we gonna do? Am I gonna fill in here? I think I am. Okay, nice. Uh, we'll follow that one. Oh, I shouldn't have followed it. Well, maybe I should. See if we can hit this guy. We can. Ooh, nice. Which means if we bring this guy in here, we can get a two dice on this guy. Excellent. Push him away because he needs the GFI to get back in contact. Uh, just go that guy. And let's pop him here and follow so he can't move anywhere else. Yeah, that's fine. The pressure's good. He obviously has a hit here. I don't know that he has a ton else. And you know, this might this might hurt, but there's only so much you can do about it, really. Okay, he stayed where he was, which I... Oh, I guess he doesn't want to move in here because he's going to get hit, isn't he? So that's probably sensible. So you get a two dice here, just a one dice, and this will be a two dice against because of guard. Okay, so he's going to make this his blitz. So not the most impactful blitz in the world. And he pushes it away from his guy that was going to make a secondary hit, so we're okay with that as well. Oh, oh. Yep, that was a misclick. I think. Because, oh, well, actually, yeah, he probably just sh should have stopped here, right? I guess he's, oh, he's heading over here? Ooh. Oh, is he going to take the two dice against? No, he's not. Okay. All right then. Uh, hmm. I kind of want to hit this guy and then carry on through. Oh boy. Okay, that was nearly really bad. Trying to free up this guy to come around here. Uh, actually, I guess here? Yeah, you can get there. That's nice. Okay, that's a two dice. Hmm. Which is a bit more scary now, if we're being honest. Uh, I think I'm going to re-centralize this guy. And also this guy. Okay, uh, so yeah. That, I guess, will do. I guess we'll follow it to keep our guard influence strong. Uh, 
That's highly disappointing, but, uh, you know, not entirely surprising either. Uh, let's make this guy have to make a hit if he wants to. Very nice. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> had to use a roll there, but it was double skull, so we'd had to use it whatever we were doing. Obviously, the down the wing is not the safest course of action right now, because he's only got <clears throat> one or two guys that can actually go with him. And we have a strength four and a mighty blow back here. Positionally, I... <clears throat> I don't think he's got a lot going on right now, but that could change. Blitzing on this side, okay. That that could free up some uh, stuff. Could actually give him a hit on this mummy. Kale on the guard. I feel like this guy's going out a lot. I suppose guard makes you more of a target, right? So, not overly surprising. This guy's going to need some serious help to get a two dice. Does currently have a... No, that's actually... Yeah. What's the plan? Just the retreat? Okay, I like it. Because we can kind of <clears throat> filter back across in our in our own way. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I see why he's doing that. That gives him much more uh, hitting potential. So now this guy all of a sudden has a two dice here. He also has a one dice here if he wants to hit a mummy. Okay, went for the two dice. Could have brought in the ghoul if he wanted to make that a two dice. Does the... I can't remember if that works, um... Against other undead. They have to be living? Honestly, don't remember. Alright, he's coming in here. I guess maybe to tie us in place? Because he's got no support there, so we can just throw somebody in that little gap there and get a two dice pretty fast. Hopefully then reposition the guard. So, you are going to get up. I guess you're going to come here. First things first. And we follow. Okay, that's a nice counter KO. Uh, let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh... I think we'll just pop this guy in here for now. Okay. Let's... oh. Okay. <laughs> well, that might give him a chance. Hey, Dweebeer, how's it going? Yeah, I'm really pleased with them, actually. Uh, this... this guy... The level up just before this game, I took break tackle. It was like a bit of, bit of a difficult decision. But, I mean, on the whole, I think it was between that, stand firm, or grab. And I just thought I might be more likely to use break tackle. It might, it might come in clutch more often. Although grab is kind of, you know, grab is great. I mean, they're all great skills, right? 
uh, in the, in their place. It was just trying to work out what was going to get me the most leverage most frequently. So I think he's going to push down here now, because that's really given him an in. How have you been doing? Okay, so yeah, he's definitely going for a big uh, push down this side. Maybe I shouldn't have re-rolled those double skulls. I should have let him take the next pair of double skulls. So yeah, then he can come down here quite nice, or he could... Eh, I don't know if that's worth it. We do have this guy who can come back and then... You know, potentially this guy can dodge. Yeah, that was really unfortunate. We could have done with having his guard down and out of the way, and so suddenly it's actually made it a lot easier for him to do stuff. At least we have our guard here. But we are a bit bad for positioning there, so our chance to stop him is not so great. Yeah, I really was tempted by Stanford. Stanford, I love as a skill. Um, so I kind of hate not taking it. Oh, he almost pushed us onto, uh... Onto his, uh, ghoul there. Busy with work. Sad times. I mean, you know, maybe that's a good thing. Is he in range? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Not yet. So the question is, can we come around here? I mean, a lot of it's going to depend on if we can actually... Uh, you need to get up. I think you probably are just getting up. Can we clear a couple of things here? Oh, not again. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> well, that's, uh, that's two really bad turns in a row there. That's unfortunate. We were looking in a really good position once we knocked out his mummy, but it's just... You can only do so much against that. It does feel a little bit diced. But, uh... At least it's not dice dice for the game yet. But I, I mean, obviously that's going to make things... Oh, we got the power on the ghoul as well. Ugh. Okay, the ghoul's still alive. So I'm feeling good about that. Uh, so the reason... And the reason I did that two dice first was obviously I wanted to free up the other guy to come down, mark the mummy. Uh, this guy was going to come around somewhere. I might have been like two dice blitzing the mummy to get my guy around and free, and that might have freed up the white to dodge out as well. Uh, as it has happened, we're no re-rolls, and uh, I don't think we're getting the ball back this half, I think. And they've got the wizards, so yeah. A little bit unfortunate there. We're going to have to... I don't know what we're going to have to do second half. I'm, we might have to push pretty hard. Odds of those last four dice rolls, quads into one in eighty one. Yeah. Yeah, what was it? It was it was four skulls, right? And then it was Um Skull both downs, skull both downs, so that's six skulls and two both downs. There's not too much you can do about that, is there? Alright, so can we I don't we can't really he's going to score. So, I guess we're just sort of hitting stuff. Um, guess we should try and make some better block potential. <laughs> try and reduce that. Oh, look! <laughs> Unblock both, I mean, skull both down. But hey, we rolled that one as well. If we could get a little attrition going, that would help. I mean, we do we do have a promising kind of setup here for second half. 
Uh, uh, let's see. So what is... I do kind of want to hit the other white. Uh, let's see. Is there a good way to... No, there's not really. Yeah, so I think we do this. Let's try to see if there's anything better. Okay, nice. And uh, I guess we'll stay. We'll take the Mighty Blow one first, because that's more chance of doing something. Okay. We're going to try and make him make it so that uh, he has less impact when he does do... Okay, that's unfortunate. Um... I don't know if I should have got him up, really. Hey! Okay, stun's not really up to much, but... Uh, this would be a lot better of an idea if I... If I had uh, block. I uh, will just leave it. If he wants to make dice rolls, I mean, he's probably going to make a dice roll with this guy. Probably on our white, right? So what are we down? We're down a guard. He's down... Uh, he'd be down two if his KOs don't come back. If his KOs come back, he's looking a lot better. But I kind of feel like we were in a sort of slightly winning position here. So, I do kind of want to push and try and score fast, if things allow that. I mean, our team is obviously on paper a bit more developed than his. Is he still making blocks? Yeah. So I guess he's bringing that guy there, and this guy's going to come here. I guess we'll get to hit him again as well, right? But he'll get two chances of getting the... Oh, has he changed his mind? Yeah. Alright. So, that being the case... We gotta put that out of our... Out of our minds. There wasn't a lot that we could do about that, I don't think. Oh, his KO is back. That's kind of put him back in the driver's seat. But we'll try and get some back out again. We do have one of his guards out, so he's down to one guard. Yeah. Yeah, I'm... I'm... I'm sort of semi-hopeful. RKO didn't come back. So, not the best in that sense, but uh, who needs... Who needs a guard zombie anyway? So we're going to try and hit him a bit here. He's setting up to counter the one-turner, which I'm not going for. I guess we can put a couple guys over here just in case of a riot, but... I'm just going to go for hitting, because I don't have it in me to attempt a movement seven. Um, yeah, we'll take a few hits, and... Uh, I guess maybe a blitz. Maybe blitz one of his mummies, see if we can get a lucky... take down on him. I, I like the setup that it's given us with two mummies at the back. That's uh, that's some classic, classic blood bowl thoughts. Three ghouls across the front, two mummies at the back. Just what we want. So yeah, he's got a sensible setup here. Um, is there anybody that we want? I guess we want you to try and go for a throw. I've been saying that for the last, like, three or four games, and they've all either failed, or, um... Or something else. Uh, put this guy up here, just in case. You know what, I don't think I need this guy here. So we'll put him over here just as well. I don't want to kind of leave myself short if we do get a riot. So we've got a two dice there. We've got two dice there. We can get, if we don't get a anything exciting, we'll blitz the mummy. 
And then we'll get maybe try and get a three dice. Uh, maybe we'll pop you over here to try and base somebody up in case we get it. One in hundred and seventeen thousand nine hundred and thirty-six. Okay, you you're kind of making me feel better about how that went. We get a quick snap, um, which means arguably we could have done it, but I don't feel like it was very likely. I guess we could foul the mummy, right? If we knock him over. Uh, that being the case, I guess we'll just move everybody a little bit closer, just on the off chance. That also helps for the three dice there. Uh, if we were going to do that. Yeah, I think we have to try the foul. The foul is more important than the, um... Than the one SVP, right? Okay. So, two dice with Mighty Blow. Uh... Yeah, this way. Alright. We don't have any rerolls as well, so everything is a little bit risky here. Uh, where would we want to hit him? Probably to... We're probably going to go like that. One, two... And hit him here. So I'll pop in... A guard. And this guy here. Uh, actually... So I'm just trying to make this the... Yeah, okay, we'll do that. I'm trying to make this the best that we can. Well, we pushed him anyway, so... That doesn't matter. Okay. So then we are, I think, maybe three dice next. Excellent. Classic stuns. I will go with the two dice with block because it's better. Even though we could push it into the block. And then I suppose we can technically go for the uh, throw. Hey, look at that! Uh, I don't think I'm going to foul a zombie. Yeah, that's some that's some pretty crazy odds on those dice. The problem is, like, whilst I don't feel bad about what I did, because there wasn't really much we could do to avoid it, I still feel, um... It's still a bit sad, right? <laughs> In terms of how it's influenced the game. I think the two turns in a row was what really killed it. The first one was like, oh, that sucks. But then the second one... Uh, double sucks. What team next season? Uh, I'm kind of wondering about doing the two-team thing that, that you often do. Because I am finding that when you do the one team, uh, you know, <clears throat> you can kind of get... Uh, Depending on how things go, it, it can be a bit uh, a bit sad if things start to go well or they don't kind of pop off like you want them to and and such. So yeah, I'm kind of wondering about doing that. Uh, in which case, hang on, let me let me finish thing up and then we'll talk about it. Uh, I kind of want to go up a wing. I guess we're doing the aggressive thing like he did after all. So the plan will be hit this guy and then push up the wing with everybody else. 
Um, because I do kind of want to try and score reasonably fast. Uh, but yeah. I'm really tempted to play Kislev again. Very sunny, so passing's bad. Ooh, that's a great catch there, though. Alright, so we start with the three dice to see... Excellent, excellent. I'm going to push him this way so we can run around him. I think we're actually going to get some of these guys embroiled. Three dice. Very nice. That's my new, uh, that's my new saying. Three dice, very nice. Um, we could get a two dice on this mummy with a little bit of guard around the corner here. Kind of liking that. That's only one. Why is that only one am I missing? Uh, oh, that guy's not providing an assist. That's right. Um, well... That is not what I was looking for. Uh, so we would need to... Two, three, four. Okay. I have plans. Good job. So we'll bring you up to... Actually, we'll do it with you up to here. We can bring you in here. I know this is all a bit elaborate just to hit one uh, mummy, but that's that's how we're rolling. Chorfs and Underworld. Okay. So one fun team and one absolutely horrible team. I like it. I'm, I'm mostly kidding there. Uh, let's see. I'm tempted to shove this guy up the middle and see if we can hold one of these ghouls in place. Obviously, uh, he could bolt this, right? Nice, nice. Uh, we'll see if he does. It's kind of a, probably a bit early to try and do that. Because his retrieval options are not the best. He might try and reconsolidate and then try it. Yeah, I, <clears throat> I'm, uh, I'm saying that the Underworld is the fun team and that Chorfs are the horrible team. Um, but that's just because I'm biased against Chorfs. Underworld, Underworld are fun. I wouldn't mind playing them again. I'm kind of wondering about doing uh, Dark Elves and... Because, you know, for a team that I purport to be my main team, I feel like I haven't played them a ton recently. I played them a season or two ago and had an okay-ish run, but I kind of made me want to play them again and maybe just see if I can get some different skill-ups. They refused to roll any Mighty Blow the entire season. Apart from maybe one guy who died the game after he got it, I think. Um, but yeah, I'm thinking... Oh, okay. Ooh, reroll out. Oh, nice. Oh, double nice. Okay, well, if anything made me want to try and turn this into a score, I guess you could say that's unlucky, right? Obviously, he was unlikely-ish to knock us down, but that's still a bit unlucky there. Now... Can we avoid rolling double skulls here? We can. Alright, things are looking up. Uh, stay. Excellent, excellent. Uh, let's see. You can just come up. Yeah. 
think we're going to get you to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would put you in range. Uh, we're going to do this. Uh, and with this guy, I think we'll actually stay here. With this guy, I'll come over the top to make that less tempting. Plus, we can theoretically get a hit in here. Uh, we'll pop you in here. Yeah, Underworld are very tempting, I must admit. Okay, just a push. Excellent. Uh, yeah, I think we should probably tag the mummy just in case. Uh, we'll pop him that way, and actually stay. Hmm, I don't think I should take the hit here, because I don't want to push this guy. Actually, maybe I do. No, no, let's keep the... Okay. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I don't know. It was, it was a, it was a, yeah, I should have done that. It was block against non-block. I'm evaluate. That wasn't a bad, that wasn't a terrible decision. So is he going to wizard? Because he kind of knows he is. Oh, we fireballed. Okay, we got a resistance off. And he didn't break armor. This is all good news for us. Um. Yeah. Got the ball free though. So now, there's going to be some dodging to try and get up here and get the ball. See who does best of Underworld over the season? That does sound kind of fun. You might be persuading me there. I know you love a bit of Underworld, so... Doesn't have a two dice here, so he'd be safest to do a one dice here if he wants to. But then this is the guy he really wants to grab the ball with. Could just blit, bl uh, dodge out. I think he's probably going to dodge out here and blitz. Oh, there's so many fun teams there. I, I kind of want to play. I kind of want to try Kislev again, which seems like a bad idea. Uh, or, or elves are always calling. I haven't done wood elves in ages, it feels like anyway. Um... But then, play 25 games with... Hang on. Oh, you've played 25 games with Underworld and won just one? That can't be true. That's not true, is it? Okay, what's the plan here? Is he going to blitz out and try and grab the ball? Okay, well that's good for him in a way, but it does mean one less movement. Oh, never mind, he's coming through that way. Grabs it, which is actually a really big problem for us, because we don't have any kind of tackle or anything, or wrestle. Does Geofying up there help? I mean, if he falls over, that would be really a bonus. I suppose it gets away from our... It does get away from some of our stuff. Uh, is there a way to free this guy? Yes. useful.
Uh, so I'd need to do that. Okay, nice, nice. We'll leave them there to keep the white locked in. Or attempt to. So now we've got to roll pairs. And if we don't roll pairs, we're kind of in a bit of a bind. I didn't need this as an assist, obviously. We just, uh, come on, this time, this time, give me a pen. Oh, it's so hard. 14 games from 1 to 11 with them. Oh, wow. This is really rough. There's just nothing we can do about this either. Why is Bludge so good when it's not you? Uh, I think I'm just gonna leave this guy here for now, maybe? Oh, hang on, we got this guy as well. He should just get up. I didn't see him because he was on the logo there. Yeah, I think I need to leave this guy here. Oh, That's... that's really... things have really worked out for him so far. Despite Kango's his mummy twice. This one bludge ghoul has been the bane of our existence. I mean, I guess you could argue it's... <clears throat> we, we should have tackle. But I don't think we've had a ton of opportunities to take it, apart from... this guy and the guy that's not playing this game. I mean, I will say, I don't feel like, uh, I don't feel like going up the side was the wrong idea, and I don't feel like we made that weak a situation over here. I mean, he had to use Fireball, which is obviously more risky. And then, uh, <clears throat> you know, and then he had to, it, it just happened that the two guys there went, did go down. I don't think there was much more we could have put up there to help protect, and we tried to base everything we could. I mean, I think I think we kind of did what we could. So I imagine he's going to just kind of dodge off over to here. Blitzing there. I will dodge. So he's going to use this guy as cover over here somewhere, I guess. Maybe come out over to here or something. No, he's... Oh, he's going to come over here, maybe? Okay. Where's the ball going? Ball's going down here. Okay, GFIs. I mean, it does kind of help get it out of our range. Oh, I wish he'd fail one of those. Uh, okay, so we've got to hit that. Uh, we're not going to be able to get through, so I think we're going to be looking at a mummy uh, situation here. Uh, so you now have to come back, I think. Got to try and race this guy. Uh, 
Um, you, I guess, will come here. I want to get guys back, but I can't now. Got one, two dice to try and get this. That double skulls was really bad here. Nope. It's been a rough game. I mean, it's been a game that we've been in control of both halves and just, just like little, little times have, have slipped away from us. That's how it feels, anyway. Um, yeah, he's just going to get this on the sideline, and then, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So if he does one GFI this turn and gets to the sideline, then we can't reach him, and he just uh, does two GFIs next turn or whatever, and he's he's home free. Why is why is Bludge so good when you don't have it? So I imagine he's going to hit this guy to free up this guy to come kind of block us. Okay, so now you're good. You're, you're in range if you get pressured. This guy can't reach you. Which is the only guy you got to worry about. I mean, I suppose technically you can worry about this guy. Yeah, we've got one guy that could potentially reach him. Well, what a game. We've got one more chance to salvage this, and it's not a good one. Um, yeah, we'll just move you to here. We'll put some pressure on, just in case. And you should probably come over here. Could we get a miracle? <laughs> oh, push isn't the miracle we need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That would actually help him. Reroll for a uh, repair. Yeah, we helped him out there. Well, um, 
So I guess, I suppose technically there's a chance that he fails something here because I don't, well, no, he's just going to get this guy down in range. But he could fail a GFI here. Strange things have happened. So I think he's going to do the GFI and then the Blitz off. So that would be another GFI to get in. Going to have to drop out, I'm afraid. Tired after my game. Yeah, see you next time. I think this one's pretty much done anyway. So I uh, thank you for hanging out as long as you did. Um, and I will, yeah, I'll catch you uh, next time one of the streams. feel like I want to drop out, really. There's not a lot we can do here. Um, I suppose, you know, I suppose if I want to be fair, uh, we could have gone more slowly, but then... The wizard is just a looming threat the entire game, right? And there's nothing to say that the attrition would have gone our way. So I think I think this is just a case of unfortunate things happening at unfortunate times. Uh, uh let's see. Do we have anybody? Maybe we can level up our white at least. Give us something to write home about. So disappointing from a... I mean, it's it's weird. I think a lot of the... I was trying to see if I could... If it was worth putting it on this guy or something and just like bombing down the wing. I don't know, maybe it was. Do I do that? It doesn't give us long, it would basically give us two turns. If we were to manage it. Should have thought it through harder and put it on this guy already, really. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna run down the wing and see if we can make some magic happen. If I'm here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, if I'm here, we can technically score. Oh, that's not great, is it? Really could have done with one of these guys falling over. Why are you doing it that... Did you see that path thing there? That was insane. Oh, it did... It did it again. Even after I just checked it. 
That's just absolute madness, isn't it? Why, why in the earth would it path it that way? I mean, I know there's some crazy pathing in this game, but that was... And, you know, we're just, like, wasting all these sixes on stuff that... I mean, I guess maybe we took some sixes off him, right? Yeah, the problem, the problem with where we've got to is that it's not far enough up. Um, probably another square or two would have given us a chance, but he's just going to come and bop us and put us one out of range. Oh, he didn't. Okay. I think he should have just come and bopped us and put us one out of range. Uh, I've also just realized that we will only have one, even if we do score, we'll only have one turn to score, actually. So, <clears throat> everything's a little bit wrong. I suppose we can hope for a riot, right? Because I think a riot at the end of the game helps you or gives you more turns. I mean, we've got to we've got to play for it. Like, it's just it it would be silly not to. Did our guard never come back the whole game, or did he get KO'd again? I don't remember now. His mummy's really been <clears throat> messing up his GI uh, GFI ratio. I don't think any of this really matters to us. Because we're just going up through here. Okay, three dice nearly hurt us, but it didn't. We were going to have to dodge anyway, so that's fine. Nice! Did it with a reroll in tow. So, the game is afoot. Our KO's not coming back again! Madness! And his KO coming back! What are the chances? Uh, okay. Doesn't matter though, because we still have a full team, so. Um, Alright. So, the plan is, is that we set up in an aggressive way. Try and make the most of any chance we get. I know it's unlikely, but I want to try and, you know, give it everything we've got. <clears throat> oh, I suppose a blitz could also do it, right? I'd forgotten about blitzes. So I think he's going to set up in a... <laughs> yeah, he's setting up a... Does he have enough players to do that? I think he's one short of setting up a full two lines. Oh, actually, he's a few short. Can you not set up two full lines with 11? No, you can't. I don't know why I thought you could. I suppose you could do a mummy, a mummy, and then three across the middle. So yeah, a blitz or a riot here. And, uh, the, we have the sniff. Very sunny. It was already very sunny. That's nowhere near as exciting. Well, we gave it a shot. Yeah, Blitz. Blitz could have been amazing.
Even though I know they're probably not going to come too much, I am going to check the stats after this one. I'm really curious. So he could, if he knocks this guy down, he can move in for an assist on this guy. Yeah, I, I do I do feel a little diced in this one, I have to admit, whether it's true or not. If you're watching on the YouTubes in a few days, let me know. Did uh did we just have the the worst of the few the few kind of key events that happened? Or uh, am I Oh, over overreacting. I don't I honestly don't feel like I'm overreacting too much, I think. I think obviously he had some bad GFIs and whatnot, but they ended up not being as no nowhere near as, as key, unfortunately. In the in the end. Guess we go and try and hit the school. Very nice. No injury. Disappointing. Uh, let's see. If I stand you up, get a two dice here. Okay, that's nice. Come around for this. That gives us a two dice here. Uh, you, we don't have guards, so we'll just stay. That's a dodge. Protect our guys as much as we can. Oh, nice. <clears throat> and then we'll go drop a foul on this ghoul. We've kind of had a, a solid bit of removal uh, early on, and then it kind of faded after that. I wonder what the armor break overalls are. I don't think we did too bad. I think it's KOs are just being more successful at coming back. We'll we'll check that out as well. I'm I'm really curious to see if I'm just to have any, you know, bias or whatnot. I mean, and in fairness, the dice logs are only going to tell you so much as well, right? Because they kind of uh, make you they give you the overall rather than the when. Um, so I suppose that's a, a thing as well. Down go sucker. Coming in for the old one dice gets it. Is this where we lose our mummy as a uh No, okay.
he ended up using all his rerolls in the end. I guess he used them on the last turn or two. So I don't remember. He was on two pretty recently. <clears throat> okay, yeah, that one definitely hurts. So I think that puts us at 733. Three. Really, really sad. I That was another one like we were having with our, um, with our last Dark Elf team where it feels like you're just losing games on like very small, uh, situations. So he only got, he only got three armor breaks the whole game. Is that really true? So he only inflicted those two KOs. I mean, that's actually pretty crazy. That's why we felt in control because we were getting the lion's share of the blocks and I mean, I guess whilst we did get 13 armor breaks, um, I think it was just the two injuries that stuck, one of which was the zombie at the end. So it's actually sort of even in terms of what got removed white aside. Um, yeah, we got, hang on, he got 11, we got 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 12, 13, we got 13 somehow. What a weird game. Uh, so let's see. <clears throat> So this is us. Uh, what stats do we actually do more than a, a couple of? Catching, I guess we caught three times? Um, GFI is very good. Uh, dodging, very good. Um, fireball, disastrous. Uh, so yeah, I mean, in terms of those, we did, we did real well. Um, let's see, pickups, solid. We only did one dodge. Um, regens, yeah, his regen failed, as usually does that, um, okay, so wake up after, did I wake up after KOs? Oh, okay, that's what I was looking for. So, I mean, I suppose, you know, in fairness, that only influenced so much, right, because we still had 11 players, but yeah, we managed zero out of, um, whereas he managed... Yeah, so he, he did get the, the balance of the KO rolls for what that's worth. I don't, I mean, the block dice are just going to look the same, right? Um, they usually come out pretty, pretty even. Just trying to see if there's any crazy anomalies there. Not really. Not really. Well, actually, that's quite, is that quite, that's, we rolled a decent amount of dice. But I suppose, considering that's a 1 out of 6, that's probably quite a lot. Did okay for Pairs though as well, so... Yeah. <clears throat> it's, you know, like I say, it's mostly about the timing, right? Uh, no level ups. Which is a bit sad, and I guess we're firing Sucker after all. No, we'll fire Lay Tail, seeing as he is not a fish. Move Pollock up the order. So we're on 1470 now that we've got our guard white back. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I'm still I'm still trying to get my head around that one. It felt so secure. It really did. Um. I mean. It, well, I, it didn't feel, I mean, the game very rarely feels secure, secure, but it felt like, it felt like we were in a good position for the most part. Uh, okay, well, with that, okay, that's, that's more, our team value has gone down a little bit now. Uh, with that, I'm gonna disappear. Um, I'll catch you guys next time. Like I say, let me know if you're, if you're still watching. Uh, let me know what you thought. Did, did that, did that go as bad as we thought? I think, I think I'm going to put it down to those two turns where we just like effectively quad scold. Um, that kind of swung, swung the game hugely. Cause I think if we had stopped him scoring, obviously we don't have to rush to score in the second half. So I think it plays out a lot differently. A lot more different. Yeah, a lot different. Plays out differently, anyway. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys next time, and uh, we'll see if we can uh, have a better game.
Bye for now.